Thank you, Chairman, Chairwoman Velasquez, Ranking Member Chavit, and the distinguished members of the committee for this opportunity to testify on AGC's documented concerns and experience with the procurement method known as reverse auctions. <coughs> AGC strongly supports full and open competition for the many contracts necessary to construct improvements to real property. As the committee considers the changing federal procurement landscape, AGC offers the following points for consideration during your evaluation of reverse auctions. Reverse auctions do not provide substantial benefits for procuring construction services. Vendors promoting reverse auctions have yet to present persuasive evidence that reverse auctions will generate savings in the procurement of construction services or will provide benefits of best value comparable to currently recognized selection process procedures for construction con contractors. Manufactured goods are subject to little or no variability or change in manufacture or application. Construction projects, on the other hand, are inherently variable and present in immeasurable risk to contractors. We do not manufacture buildings, highways, or other facilities. In fact, the construction process is fundamentally different from the manufacturing process and cannot be compared with the purchase of commodities. Reverse auctions do not guarantee lowest price. In the context of construction, AGC believes that most of the claims of savings are unproven and that reverse auction processes may not lower the ultimate cost. A bidder has little incentive to offer his best price and subsequently may never offer his best price. Reverse auctions may encourage imprudent bidding. Reverse auctions create an environment in which bid discipline is critical yet difficult to maintain. If competitors act rashly and bid imprudently, the results may be detrimental to everyone, including the owner, in this case the federal government. Consequently, imprudent bidding may lead to performance and financial problems for owners and successful bidders, which may have the effect of increasing the ultimate cost of construction as well as the cost of operating and maintaining the structure. Negotiated procurements allow thorough evaluations of value. Over the past few years, owners, particularly the federal government, have recognized the value and quality of project relationships and other factors that promote greater collaboration among the owner and project team members. Reverse auctions, on the other hand, do not pr promote collaboration, much less communication between the owners and bidders. Rather, they have a negative effect on the relationship between buyer and seller. Sealed bidding assures that the successful bidder is responsive and responsible. Where price is the sole determinant, the sealed bid procurement process was established to ensure integrity in the award of construction contracts. Reverse auctions ignore the protections of the sealed bid procurement laws, regulations, and years of precedent that address these critical factors and ensure the integrity of the process. Reverse auctions may contravene federal procurement laws. The federal acquisition regulation and current procurement statutes reflect a clear policy of not disclosing contractor price information. Given these restrictions on contractor price disclosure in the U.S. Code and the FAR, it is unclear that any authority truly exists for the federal government to conduct reverse auctions on fixed price type contracts or that current law can be interpreted to permit the practice of reverse auctions. AGC strongly recommends that the committee encourage OMB, OFPP, and the FAR Council to closely examine the finding of, of the congressionally mandated reverse auction pilot pilot program the Army Corps of Engineers issued 2004, as was discussed earlier. The findings of the report clearly state that reverse auctions are an inappropriate tool to pro procure construction and construction-related services. To sum up, AGC believes that where reverse auctions for construction have been studied, they have failed to provide savings. They are an unproven method for selection of construction contractors, specialty contractors, subcontractors, and suppliers. At best, reverse auctions raise significant issues for owners and construction team members for the following reasons. They do not guarantee the lowest price. They may encourage imprudent bidding. Negotiated procurements allow a more thorough evaluation of best value. Sealed bidding assures that the successful bidder is responsive and responsible, and reverse auctions may contravene federal procurement laws. Additionally, AGC is supportive of SBA's regulatory recommendations to address the impact of reverse auctions on small business and to offer retainage release for small A&E firms. Thank you for this opportunity to comment. I look forward to working with the committee and will be happy to answer any questions. <clears throat>